So today I have a beautiful, beautiful young lady that I am featuring. Her name is Miss Joyce. Hello, Miss Joyce. Hi. Welcome to Moments with Marilyn. Thank you for having me. And she is known, guys, as the popcorn lady. Look at this display. Oh my goodness. So, Miss Joyce, could you tell me, tell me in my audience, how did you start your popcorn business? Okay, so about 17 years ago, I love popcorn. So I'm in the kitchen making popcorn every night. It really takes my husband to talk about how I was forcing him to eat all this different popcorn, putting different flavors on it and all of that. And then I started some serious research on popcorn. It's just not something that you can just do. You have to know about the seed. You have to know about the flavoring. You have to know about the cheese. So I started to investigate popcorn. Oh, and popcorn? Oh, absolutely. And it was something that I really, really enjoyed. Plus, I love to eat popcorn. So about 17 years ago, I did that. And then a well-known popcorn, international popcorn company came to Michigan. And it kind of intimidated me. And I was being promoted at work and, and all of that. So I put the popcorn aside. And um, I actually was promoted to the chief HR officer at one of the local hospitals. And that was as far as I could go. And I'm thinking, what's next, right? I might want to retire, but what am I going to do? And I said, my popcorn. So I started pulling out everything that I had researched, started studying about the popcorn again, and I found a location in downtown Detroit, and I said, I'm going to try this. Detroit! <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> that deep. That deep. That deep. I'm from Chicago now. Okay. So I gave you a pop for Detroit. That deep. And so I, I just went from there. I had already had recipes um, that I had developed, and so thus we have Top and Top Hat Popcorn Creations. We have over 50 flavors of popcorn in the store every day, plus flavors of the month. And um, I think it's going to be a success. Well, I actually saw you being featured. I was strolling through the internet, as I always do. Um, and I actually saw you being featured, I think, on Channel 4 in Detroit or something. Mm -hmm. And they, they called you the popcorn lady. Right. And I actually took the time to look at the video, and it was amazing. And when you talk about the popcorn seed, yeah. I mean, is it like, well, there's different, different seeds? There are, there are different kinds of seeds. They produce a different flavor of popcorn, some of them, and they also yield a different size, depending on how you pop them and what mushroom you get from that seed. That's what, I, that's what stuck with me when he was like, how big your, um, popcorn butter is actually. Yes. And I'm like, wait a minute. And then I know, because I'm from Chicago and there's Gary. That's the one that intimidated me. <laughs> I don't grow no less intimidation. Yeah, you got I it. did not. After a yeah, while. exactly. Yeah. So, um, as a um, African American entrepreneur, how would you, what would you tell? Say for another person who wants to launch their business, right. uh, and you was on a job, you right. said working right. on a job, mm -hmm. so you just did this as your side kick. I did until I retired last year this time, and so this is my heart, this is my passion. I would say to anyone, go for your dream. If this is your dream, go for it. Don't ever give up, but you need to know about what you're getting ready to do. Do you need to research. do your homework, your research. You need to know every facet of the business and go for your dream. Don't ever and give up. And you did this every time, Paige. Yes, I am. There's still hope for us, guys. Yes, <laughs> yes absolutely. absolutely. There's still hope for us. Yes, it is. If you're passionate about something, go for it. Go for wow. it. Wow. Sky's the limit. You can do it. Wow. Yes. So I am so honored to feature you on Black History Month as an African American entrepreneur yes. and a lady. Wow, now let me ask you now, you happen to be in Florida. Yes, I just had a new grandbaby in Florida, so I'm here. So that's how I got her on my show, because I'm located in Tampa, Florida, the Tampa, Florida area, and she's happy to be here. So I happen to, you know, I'm your stalker now. I'm not stalking <laughs> you, but that's how I'm so honored that you took the time to um, be here with me today. But. I want to taste some popcorn. Absolutely, absolutely. I brought some flavors with me. Let's talk about some of your flavors. Yes, so what I brought with me was strawberry cheesecake, which is a fan favorite, cinnamon bun, that dill, which is my favorite. That's why it's named that dill. 
um, Red Hot Cinnamon, Oreo, Cheesy Ranch, Southwest Hot Wings, Bacon Cheddar. And this Ooh. is just a name of a few. Did you say Southwest Hot Wings? I did, and that's a fan See, favorite. Y'all know I'm a hot wing connoisseur. Oh, yeah. Oh. Cheesy Ranch. That's the flavor of the month. This is the flavor of the month. But well, I'm the flavor of the month, so I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going to try the, okay. the Cheesy Ranch. Now, you were saying that some of the kernels pop different sizes. Mm -hmm. So do you all do your, all your kernels the same, or do you do smaller ones? No, never, never small ones. All of them are big, just like that. And um, it's part of the process. Not only is it just the kernel, but it's the popping process as well. And let me ask you this. So, because um, you know I'm from Chicago and yeah. Garrett, mm -hmm. they're number one in Chicago and they franchise. Will anybody ever be able to franchise you? Well, we're talking about that. Um, we're interested in ourselves expanding and moving to different locations in Detroit and Florida, you know. I was going to say, now you got to come to Florida. Yeah, we're thinking about Florida. I've been looking around in Florida. So, um, yeah, so franchising um, to someone else, not sure yet if we want to do that. Mm -hmm. But um, for sure, we're looking at, you know, expanding. So I'm going to do the test. Okay. Cheesy Ranch. At the Plus Go Food Fight. That's right, that's right. Mm. 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 Thank you. I'm so sorry for eating on the show, guys. This is good popcorn. Okay. I can taste the ranch, and it's so cheesy. Mm -hmm. So you're right, it's Cheesy Ranch. That's right. Let me press this to one of my two executive producers. There you go. So I can get back my skin back with the closure there. So we're Poppin' Top Hat Popcorn Creations located in downtown Detroit. We are on Facebook and Instagram, and you can reach us on our website at poppintophat.com. Over 50 delicious flavors. Yes. So this is just a few. Yes, this is just a very few. And you started this in your kitchen. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, ma my God. Hats off to you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hats off to you. I know it's it's really challenging when a lot of people be scared to venture out mm -hmm. to pursue their dreams of entrepreneurship right. because of one of the, the fear of failure to That's the finances. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to do that. You hustle. just got to do it. And if you, especially if you believe in God, absolutely. You him Girl, won't heart, he do it? He will do it. He will do it. Well, I. Thank you again so much, Miss Joyce. Oh, thank you for, for It's joy or joy? It's joy. Joy, Miss Joy. I'm ready to call, I have changed your name now. Sorry, I didn't think. But I am getting ready to indulge in some of this popcorn. I just want to taste all the flavors. Oh my God, and your display is beautiful. So, they, you were shipped to Tampa. Shipped to Tampa all the time. We ship all over the country and Canada. So far. Okay, I'm gonna make sure they have all your contact information. Okay. So guys, I want you guys to support Miss Joy and her popcorn. Pop poppin' top hat. hat. It's the name of the business and over 50 flavors. So make sure you guys go to her website, which will be posted, and support her business, okay? So the, the popcorn that I taste was amazing. So you guys support her, it's Black History Month, but don't do it just for the month of February, do it for the rest of the year and catapult her business to the next level, okay? Thank you again, Miss Joy, oh, for being you. on here. And I'm going to indulge this